For security reasons, I can't say where or what I do. Although seeing how far Disney gets uh, on the internet and in general, I know there is a possibility that I get caught. Uh, even so, I want to try. So you can call me Woody. I've been working here for five years. Uh, they pay really well. And I'm also a compulsive consumer of this subreddit. About two months ago, I stumbled upon a horror story about Disney and obviously read it. I liked it so much that I looked for others. Uh, the one with Mowgli's Palace and its second part about Room Zero. Although it sounds macabre, I have to say that horror stories about Disney fascinated me much more than the real material of the company. I've never been a fan, really. Studio Ghibli is my choice, personally. I reread them some several times, but... In a couple of days, I had forgotten the whole thing, because of my real work for Disney, that is. One night, about a week ago, I was among beers in my apartment with my friend and coworker that I'll now call Buzz. Jumping from topic to topic, we got to talk about horror movies and the like, until I remembered about the Disney stories. Dude, <laughs> I gotta tell you, a while ago, I found some very sinister shit on the internet. Horror stories about the company. Disney? He asked, giving his third beer a last drink. No. Apple. Of course! Disney! <laughs> Somebody's dedicated himself to that? <laughs> Damn, that's creepy. I'll send you the links to the ones I like the most. Give it a try. I didn't think he'd do it. But anyway, I sent him some links and the video with the depressing Mickey. Last Monday, Buzz came to my table at lunchtime. He was paler than usual. Huge eyes crossed his face. He told me that he had read all the horror stories about Disney that he had been able to find on the internet. All of them. On Tuesday, Buzz came back to my desk even paler. Hey, can I ask you something? Sure. Do you think that maybe some of those Disney horror stories are true? What? I mean, you know Disney's power, right? What if among this sinister story that there's something true? I don't know, I, I think it's just people fucking up everyone's childhood. Are you okay, though, dude? He didn't answer. He just went straight to his desk and then hid behind his computer screen for the rest of the day. At closing time, I went to Buzz's table to ask him if he wanted to do something that night. Not today. No. He didn't say anything else. He didn't even look at me because he was so absorbed in the computer screen but I could hear that shitty music of Suicide Mouse playing low over the speakers. On Thursday, last week, Buzz didn't come into work, nor will he return. On arriving at work, people murmured in small groups. Just before arriving at my table, Mr. Potato, that's what we'll call my boss, asked me to go with him to his office. I was informed that Buzz had committed suicide. He hung himself in his room. I attended his funeral and the reception that took place in his house. Well, his parents, in spite of his good salary, he didn't want to leave the nest. Apparently Buzz didn't have many friends. His parents recognized me for a picture he had framed in his room. I asked their parents if I could keep the photo, and they told me that I could take it from the room myself. It was not a place I wanted to go after what had happened, but I thought that for that same reason the parents didn't want to go either. Buzz's room was... you could say special. You could tell that he was passionate for Disney. He had merchandise everywhere. You could tell that his favorite was Toy Story. He had most of his characters 
on the shelf. I took the picture on the desk. In it, you could see Buzz and me wearing Mickey ear hats. <laughs> I remember that day. It was just at the end of finishing a job, the one of the elephant. I took the photo with me, but I also took Buzz's wristwatch, the one that he was always wearing. I also asked his parents if I could take Buzz's portable computer for work reasons. They were happy to hand it to me. His dad said that he spent too much time on it anyway. This morning, a group of colleagues and I were talking about Buzz. I think he was just burned out of his job, one of them said. Jesse. She's a companion and friend of ours that Buzz always liked, but never dared to say anything to her. Why do you think so? Because one day I was trying to communicate with him, but he ignored me because he was too busy writing horrible things about the company on Reddit. What? Yeah, he wrote the word Disney in capital letters in a frenetic way. A couple of hours ago, I was checking my email, and when I got to the junk, I saw that I had an email from Buzz that was sent last Thursday. He didn't write anything. Just linked to a post on r slash no sleep Disney. I tried to post there looking for help, but my post is always deleted because the bot says I'm breaking some rule of the subreddit. That's when I saw that every post that was there was missing. No stories. Just people asking where the stories went. If someone could think of an unusual post on in there that suits with this, please let me know. <laughs> 